Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where we talk about things that happened this week in anime history. And today we get to feature the worst double feature in human history. Oh. Oh, yeah. April 16th, 1988. Uh, you walked into the theater and you saw Grave of the Fireflies. And then right after that, you got to see My Neighbor Totoro. Fortunately, in that order. Oh. Because I can't imagine doing it the other way around. Oh. Um... The oh. whole thing of this was that like the, both films were coming out simultaneously. Uh, Totoro was obviously an original work. Miyazaki was like, I mean, he was known, but he wasn't like a household name at this point. And so it's like, you know, in order for these films to work, like they have to come out side by side. And obviously, everyone knew what Grave was. Um, and so they, you know, no one will watch Totoro unless they get through Grave first. Like, I'm not sure about that. The, the fact that anybody stayed for Totoro. <laughs> Yeah. Well, here's That'd the be a thing. Hard. <laughs> here's the thing. What that means is, if you want your kid to watch Totoro, like they have to sit through Grave of the Fireflies. If you don't want the nice things, you have to learn that life is pain. Exactly. Thank yeah. you. <sighs> Totoro. It'll be a great children's show. Let's bring our six-year-old. Yeah. Oh, what's what's the premium? Oh, it's Grave of the Fireflies. <laughs> oh, jeez traumatized yeah. children across Japan. Um, and in fairness, I'm sure it was one of those things where you know you could go and say, okay, this is going to be an hour and a half. I'm just going to come an hour and a half later. But still weird. Um, no, the doors are locked. Oh, you have to watch both. You're required. Um, so John in the chat room is saying, you read an article by a person who decided to watch the two films in the same order. It said, Totoro hit harder in a couple of scenes because of Grave. Hmm. Which is very interesting. I may have to do that now. Yeah, that's that's fascinating. Uh, uh, please do, John. Please, please post that in the Discord. Um, I, yeah, I I would not be at all surprised to find that there are some correlations in there, hidden correlations if you actually uh, watch the two. Um, do you think this has any any like possibility where people talk about Totoro being the god of death? No. Do you think no. there's any kind of no. you know we watch your grave of the fireflies and then you're like oh Totoro's yeah. the god of death. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, Miyazaki has, you know, um, denied that vociferously. Right. So I, you know. Right. I'm just saying people. Oh, but you're coming people out of heard it of that. Like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, must be. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's possible. Definitely. Um, who knows? Versus if they had shown Santa Claus versus the Ice Cream Bunny, they would have a totally different interpretation of Totoro. So the good <laughs> question: Do you watch that before or after Grip with the Fireflies? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> or it I would mean, make Grave of the Fireflies make you know like really good sense. Well, the, the, like, oh yeah, that's I, this is great. I feel like grounded now. I, I'd watch Ice Cream Bunny first because then you're just you're just numb for Grave of the Fireflies. You're not even processing Grave of the Fireflies at that point. Yeah. What did I just watch? Why did I do this? <laughs> I never laughed so hard at something so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, they made another movie, by the way. <sighs> like the, those people, that, that's not the only thing they made. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, uh, it's weird. 